Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Alpha 12. And we are finally going to start building a spaceship. we got another bulk goods trader. We could go and purchase some more food, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do. More cheap potatoes or um, or rice. Here, let's sell some human flesh. Um, berries, milk. Oh, none of these are particularly cheap. All right, let me sell the human meat. We still have some others to chop up, I hope, to feed the wargs and things. Combat supplier. Uh, we do want to sell a bunch of weapons and any armor that's below 50%, because people aren't going to want to wear that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let me sell the shotgun as well. And then these melee weapons. Okay. I have talked about the lack of helmets. It'd be nice to buy another one, but I really do have to try to accumulate a little bit of money. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, we do have one prisoner that we're trying to rescue. And yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot out this area over here for the spaceship. Um, computer core. Yeah, we don't have an AR Persona core, so we're definitely going to have to buy one of those. Um, I guess we start with a reactor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plop some stuff down and sort of plan out the space. hate that this is now centered. drives me crazy. I mean, I could, for flavor put in a pair because it looks a hell of a lot better and then do something like that okay the structural beams got to be placed uh, first okay so let's say something like vaguely this is going to be the shape of our ship and um, we might have structural beams going out to the side so I'm just doing this mostly to get a, a space layout in fact I think I'm gonna move everything backwards now let me go and plan out some marble walls uh, I guess I can use that as part of my structure over here. All right, do something like this all the way up to here. This doesn't have to be roofed or anything. So we're going to have something like this. I will actually put down... I'm going to use marble auditors. I want this to be quite sturdy, in fact, because I don't want people running in here and destroying my spaceship. That would upset me greatly. Obviously, we're going to need some power over here. Um, we're going to power from this over here, which is not connected to my gun system, so it's not toggleable. And that will ensure that my auto doors, and actually, let's put it in the walls for extra sturdiness, my auto doors will be powered. So, um, oh yeah, that doesn't actually connect, but that's okay. So, um, marble, marble auto doors aren't that fast, but that's okay. Now, I don't think this would get a roof anyway because it's too large, but let's make sure that at no point do we attempt to build a roof on there. All right, so basically, we're going to plot out this room first. And actually, um, this would be an excellent place to grow some more crops outdoors as well, but we're not going to do that. Let me go and haul these two little rocks away too, just so that they don't interfere with some of the movement. And there we are. So lots of doors here so that my people can walk through relatively easily. Chamois, one of my poor huskies. I could, I could just put her down. Part of me is thinking I probably should. Poor, poor dog. But, you know, as long as she's not suffering, then I guess it's fine. I think it's a she. Um, this... How do we end up with this, exactly? There we go. There shouldn't be any rocks here, here, or here. There we go. So that we can walk around without losing any speed. And then the idea is just to make things basically unwalkable for anyone who might be interested in attacking me. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to run up to melee this one at the same rate as these, so it's probably okay that it's not covered up. All right. Poor moods. Why are you in a poor mood? You got cabin fever and you're hot. Right, because these things are set to like 21 degrees now. All right. Once again, let me double-click everything, reset everything, bring them down to 18. 17. Actually, I'll bring them down to 16, which is where I like to set them. So now you won't be hot, and I'll actually go and set up more heaters, since these vents do not seem to work the way that I would like. There we go. Same thing here. And there. And there and there. So we're going to use lots of metal, but hey, we've got lots of metal, uh, and we can do that so they're all there. 
And obviously we will end up having to do another one of those rounds of uh, reset everything, set them to a proper temperature. Like that. And then we've got one in the hospital. Um, and then you've got that queued up, you've got that queued up. Alright, I think I've got them all. Hopefully we've got them all. These rocks can get hauled away. That too. Finish this room, which we'll use for maybe more bedrooms later on. We've got these plants going on there. Still have told people to go and smooth things down. Alright, but people are pretty busy. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. Collect these plants. Food is still low. Actually, it's dropping pretty precariously, in fact. Um, you know what? Uh, we're going to slaughter all the alpacas. We've gotten lots of wool from them over the past. Um, and we're not even growing cotton anymore, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get some quick meat. I'm assuming the chickens are still like a good source of food. Convert convert some vegetation into some meat. Uh, assuming you can use the eggs for that. Well, I mean, they're not vegetables. So you should be able to use them to make fine meals. And that's it for the research. No more research to be done. In fact, I will go reclaim the materials from the construction benches and... Not that it matters, but just for my own purposes, I will go ahead and remove the research job from the queues from these guys over here. Okay, all the research in the game is done. There's an engrave. You know what would be really nice? If we started working on some of these walls. That would be awesome. I have no idea if we have enough marble for this, actually. That's one thing I hadn't checked. We have we have a lot of marble blocks. This is this is marble over here. Well, we just picked up a chunk, which is why the number just dropped pretty quickly. Uh, we still have um, stone cutters table there, and I thought we had another one. I'm not sure. We used to have one in here, but we don't anymore. And maybe we we will because we will need to process a lot of blocks. In fact, part of me is wondering if I should put a little stone workers table out there. You know what I'll do? I will make another one. Um, you can make it out of wood. We don't have any wood. All right, sure, make it out of steel. We should probably cut down some more wooden trees. We've got some beds queued up there, and we don't actually have any wood for it. Um, chop wood. That's not actually mature enough. There, a little bit more over there. That's probably way too much, but that's okay. We don't have that many people set up to chop down trees anyway. All right, so you are making some blocks. Good, I'll get another one over here. That'll be fine. Only 3% chance to recruit Bray. Why so poor? Viztech is doing it. Viztech doesn't have the greatest skill in the universe because it's 89%. I guess your mood isn't maxed out. That's not necessarily helping. But you are in a very pleasant environment. And actually, that's not even with the statue being installed, which is interesting. Just just nice enough with all of our walls, the floor, a good bed. Oh, you're going to be really happy soon. Um, you guys are, what, hauling rice? Good. We did get another harvest. Excellent. And... Did we do all the alpacas? Not all of them, but mostly I think there's just the one left. And I'm okay with having done that. I think it's probably a good idea. Oh, we, we have um, the super fancy meals. Yeah, let's turn off the lavish meals. I don't think their lavish meals are as food efficient. They're good for mood, but right now um, food efficiency is a bit of a concern. Ow! Okay, a little bit of repair to do there. All right, these walls being done up. We still have plenty of marble blocks. Good. Power conduits are starting to come together as well. And yeah, this is going to be our, our shipyard. But we need, still need a, um, a computer core. We need the right kind of vendor to come by so we can sell some stuff. Is this like a little stockpile zone over here? Really? Interesting, actually. Don't allow anything and make the priority low. Like, don't allow any, like, raw food or anything close to that. Or corpses. Must have been auto-created from um, one of our little trade things. Probably shouldn't have a storage stockpile here at all. Let's just remove it completely. Okay. 7% chance for Bray. Okay, so that has improved a wee bit. Food is still low. I mean, we're not, it's not starving yet. And we can always do a big cull of the chickens. And you know what? Um, one thing is these guys can should be unrestricted. Chamois, the husky, who keeps going a little nuts. Listen, we are going to put you down. Sorry. Sorry, Chamois. It's a bit of a food thing. I think these guys are too old to reproduce or anything either, so. Aww. It's meat. 
uh, presumably. I'm just going to haul there, and then, yeah, you'll be butchered after. Okay. You are cutting down some trees. We probably queued up too many trees to be cut down. It's pretty standard. Pretty standard for me. Queue up too many things at once. New recruit! Bray! All right. You have, like, demon horns. That is interesting. Oh, yeah, you're volatile. But you are going to be renamed to... Um, Cyclovex. Who is a dwarf in our most recent run. There you go. Um, do, do, do. do that and that. And flick and... Hey, quite... Yeah, sure. We'll have you mine if there's any mining to be done. Um, otherwise, yeah, you'll probably just do some hauling and cleaning. And as a low priority job, uh, construction and repair. Just in case it comes up. But we can always use more haulers and cleaners. Not going to complain about that. You just... Uh, oh, you're resting. You're probably out for a wander. You're visiting a grave. You just caught here. Trust me, the people you, you lost are not there. So part of me is thinking with these graves. Like, I think they do that as a joy building thing. Um, but they're really far outside. What I should do is actually have graves inside my base so they don't have to walk as far to actually do that. Gentle snow, it is February. Seasons are advancing. We're going to finish that auto door, which currently is not powered. So opening and closing it would be very slow until the, the power actually gets finished. Okay, yeah, you're just hauling chunks. I'm like, why do people keep walking through here? It's because they're grabbing metal bits to smelt down, which is totally okay. I have no problem with people deciding to do that. Beer, you're just chilling. You do have haul jobs, but I guess there's just not that much of it to do. How is our power coming? It is, it is increasing, which is good. Not very quickly, but it is happening. Be nice to get to the point where we can take those batteries off the grid um, in case there's an emergency later on. But that's all right. A little bit of idlers. Oh, you guys are doing the trees over here? Okay, we can go and uh, probably stop that. I mean, we definitely need some wood for beds and things. I don't know how much more we need. What else did we queue up? A bunch down here. You know what? We can cancel these. There. That is enough. Just try to get our, um, our spaceport running. Please and thank you. I could actually potentially move... Um, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to make a couple of storage, a couple of stockpiles. One there and one there. This one here, I'm going to turn off everything. And we're going to say Plasteel. And you're going to be critical priority. And this one here, again, will clear everything. And we'll say Steel and critical priority. Because those are things we're going to use to build our spaceship. And I suppose what I could do is make another one. Um... Another two by two. And just for now, critical priority marble blocks. That way haulers will bring things out here, and then my constructors don't have to work quite as hard to actually do the job. Right? Right. Keeps everyone like a little bit busier doing the thing they're supposed to be doing. And then we can remove these stockpiles later on. Sycorexia, hanging out by the grave. Okay, we do need the um, we need the need the power cables up and running so that these doors go a little bit faster. That would be nice. In fact, like seriously, prioritize this stuff. Would you kindly? There we are. And there's some more bits down there too. Okay, I think that might be it. Yep, the door is now powered. Good, because marble doors are super slow. They're still not supremely fast when they're wired, but at least they're not apocalyptically bad. And yeah, I do want this to be relatively well armored. And I'm going to go and plop down some more solar generators, just, you know, sort of here and there and everywhere. Well, this might be a good spot for them, actually. So we have a ton of construction jobs. I'm actually thinking it might be a good idea... To bring that up for people. Uh, Kirksel, we're going to bring down your hall, one level. That way you'll start doing this again. Um, grow, plant, cut. See, that's all good. We don't really have... Yeah. You know what? Construct. Level one priority. Okay. Then we'll have more people working on it a little bit quicker. 
which I think is good right now. I'm going to be happy with that. We've got a bunch of extra people that have been assigned to basically full-time hauling jobs. So I think it's okay that we move more people over to construction. Now there's the one that's also supposed to be the plant grower, but we also, we do have a fair amount of plant growing people. So I think the jobs are still going to get done at a reasonable rate. Of course, some of our construction jobs, I think could be mining, but I think it's going to be construction. Do you, wait, do you not actually have enough power? Or are you not actually hooked up to power? Does it not reach? Well, hell. Oh, you're hooked up to the battery, and the battery's not connected to anything. And in fact, I don't think it will be, because I don't think anyone can walk over there. But I suppose what I can do is... Uh, that's not going to be a door anyway, but you know what? Yeah. It's mine out there. I don't know who's set to miner. Miner. Never. You're going to come over here. Oh, someone's already mining that out. Good. And then we'll pop a door over there. And then people will be able to reach this. That means that battery will be connected as well. Right now, it's venting out all of our heat, which is really bad. Daft, why don't you come and prior prioritize this door? And I'm overloading with construction jobs. No, Daft, finish the goddamn job. Thank you. All right, good. So then that'll be able to get taken care of in the future. Okay. Um, those are being hauled away. We're not going to mine this out right now. Things happening there. We're getting close to being closed. We've got some extra power as well during the day. I mean, we have like unlimited batteries, basically. So we can afford to run things that are just on during the day and be very, very happy with that. You know, same thing like extra power over here I should just have like my place littered with solar panels uh, there's something to be said about keeping a gap between them so that fire can't spread quite as easily but eh, it's fine I mean what are the odds that something might catch fire that never happens need like sprinkler systems or something like that oh that's my telescope that's right I wonder if people ever use it they can here it's not roofed clearly because my solar panels work so Clearly not roofed. Yeah, lots of constructors. Good. And yeah, I'm happy to have these uh, resources over here. I think that's going to be very, very, very helpful for us. Okay, I'm going to finish the walls and then we're going to start building the spaceship. Cargo pods! Squirrel skin. Okay. Well, that'll help our tailor. Still working hard at tailoring. If we did get a... We really need an exotic good vendor to come by. We've got a lot of stuff to sell them. Plus, they're the ones who can bring the computer core. And we desperately need the computer core. If we're ever going to get off this rock. And I don't know how many people we're going to take with us. We'll probably just sort of build a convenient number of crypto ca sleep casks, caskets. And then, you know, everyone else will just be left behind in this huge, huge base. Which is pretty awesome. It's a cool base. So I still don't have a ton of food. We do have the extra growth over here, which is hopefully going to help. These things do grow very fast. Um, you don't have a lot of space for them, but their growth rate is really, really good. This one here, I don't know if it makes a difference in the growth rate, but, you know. I think it was already at 120%, wasn't it? Not sure. But at least this way, when the doors open and close, you don't lose quite as much uh, heat either. Or you lose maybe just as much, but it starts off hot, hotter. Um, that's okay. That's not supposed to be connected to anything. And as long as they put out the fire, that's going to be fine. But one more little tile to finish over there. And we're hauling more metal over here too, which is going to be good. Again, we will, we will use it. Daft, yeah, you're going to rest. You're going to walk over, do one tap, and then go and rest. No, no, finish the construction for crying out loud. Lovely! Okay. So, we'll put ship engine. There we go. I'll leave two tiles of space. And then the ship reactor. So get started with that. So you use a fair amount of material. We're pretty good on plasteel. We've never sold any. Um, and we've had to kill a lot of mechanoids. We actually should have a pretty good amount of plasteel. What do you have? About 1,700. It, it gets used up pretty fast. Especially if I'm putting two engines on here. Anyway, let's just put on the one for now. I just don't like that. You know, it's not... It's not centered. Who decided that was a good idea? 
All right, I'll put it there. Maybe later on we'll build the other one. Uh, finishing the solar panels is a good idea. Can't complain about that. Get them up and running so that our batteries charge up faster during the day. We have a little over 10,000 charge. We actually have been hovering around 10,000 charge in our batteries for quite a long time. Every time I check, it's like 8, 9, maybe, you know, now 10. So maybe it was climbing slowly, but here, see here, it goes away at night. So if we get enough solar panels during the day, we, we should come out ahead over the course of the day. Um, we are actually close enough over here. It might be worth... This will, you know, delay our spaceship a bit more. And are we really out of metal? Holy cow. Man, metal goes... We use it a lot. I mean, the hydroponics ta uh, tables do use a fair bit of metal as well. And, of course, the spaceship does. But I didn't think we were, like, running that low. But No, indeed, there we are. Combat supplier, um, mostly we're going to be looking to sell to you. Keep the charge rifles. Okay, that'll be that. Um, we do have some steel that we know about. We can also do some little um, exploratory mining in a couple of places just to see if we might find a little steel depot, a little stockpile somewhere. Something like that. Maybe one over there. Um, we might have also known about some. We uncovered one recently. I don't know. Take this. Do one of those. Take this. Do one of those. Who knows what we might see doing that. Um, and yeah, we do have some that is exposed. This is actually, what is this? Compacted plasteel, so if we wanted more of that, we could get it. Um, I should get Kirk Solo to go out and hunt out some boars for us. Because we do need some meat. I must forget how much material the damn spaceship takes. There we go. So I will try to escape with the minimum amount. Cargo pods, templates, metal. No. Monkey hide. They're really sure we need more and more and more leather. It's like our people have a fetish. Oh yeah, we used a lot of metal on the solar generators too. That is true. You know what? Let me cancel this. I'll finish the power cable just because, you know, it's already there. But we're going to be fine on power. There we go, 12,000. Yeah, power is definitely going up properly during the day now with all these extra solar panels. We are going to be in good shape. So we won't waste the, um, the steel on the geothermal right now. Okay, but we have a lot of mining to do. Obviously a lot of construction left to do... Um, on the spaceship. So we got the internal mining. I'm still not going to pop this yet. We got the internal mining just to try to find some new uh, metal resources, which I'm okay with. And then we've also gone and flagged some metal bits outside, too. What is this stuff? Limestone. Hmm, okay. We got a bit of a repair job there, which will almost certainly happen at some point. Some cleaning. Mm hmm. We don't have a crazy amount of miners. But a fair amount of people who will do it pretty regularly. I think the mining will happen pretty quick. No one's idle, which is good. I mean, if anyone becomes idle, I might give them a, a low-priority mining job. Actually, one of the things I could do is just, like, put on, a, like, a level 4 mining job for everyone. So if at any point someone would become idle, they'll at least grab a pick. I don't think this is going to come up much. But let's go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. Because that's what we're going to be limited by right now. Materials. This stuff needs to be hauled away as well. Well, maybe not all of it. I should probably just haul away anywhere that there's, um, it actually would cause a slowdown, right? Anytime you get two chunks of rocks next to each other, then people can't path around from one to the other. So maybe I'll focus on that. We've got that. We've got Cyclovex in here. combat supplier um okay where is my exotic goods vendor we have to sell you multiple like articles of clothing i'm gonna sell the poor quality charge rifle apparently we've got plenty of weapons we're still smelting down plenty of metal as well it should be happening anyway no one's working on it right now because we don't have like metal slag in our actual stockpiles i don't think that's true i think they will grab it from anywhere but at least we can do some bulk hauling from here to there and then my crafters don't have to go quite as far 
uh, to grab the materials they actually want to work with. And we have no idlers right now, though, so clearly people are staying pretty busy. Including the haulers. It's a little bit of busy work, but eh, it's not the end of the world. And again, later on, the smelters will appreciate having things be just a scooch closer. In fact, what I could do, and this might be a really good idea, is get a tiny stockpile zone here. Uh, clear all critical priority for steel slag chunks. So our haulers should always try to keep four steel slag chunks right over there. And I like that. So they'll grab from this pile if needed to make sure that one stays full. Low food is toggling on and off. I like that it's staying partially off. That's a good sign. If need be, we could always just butcher all our chickens in an emergency, but I like the food variety that it should hopefully be bringing for us. What's that sound? Is it lightning strike somewhere? That was weird. If we run out of stuff to mine somewhere else. Set a little bit of mining jobs there. And over here. I mean, I'm still hoping to find some inside the base. I think it's worth doing, digging those little exploratory tunnels. We also might find a geothermal somewhere in our base, and that's always really handy to see. But I think I'll probably hold off in the exploratory tunnels because we do have a lot of um, little steel caches that we have found somewhere else. Uh, right there, that should be hauled away. And this, and that one doesn't really matter. But these are actually, you know, blocking some paths for us, which is not good. All right, so this is going to fill with metal scraps. That'll fill with metal scraps, and then hopefully people will work that. Um, I could turn crafting onto a higher priority for the people who are doing it, but I was going to say, there should still be that. More cargo pods. What I need... Ooh, okay, meat's not bad. I really need an exotic goods vendor. Again, for so many reasons. Did I have any uh, silver? That's more plasteel. I will probably end up needing it at some point. I'm going to go ahead and queue it up to be mined. Alternatively, we could always sell it to purchase something else that we want. Okay, nothing exciting over there. All those exploratory tunnels are done, except for the ones in my actual base. And we've got a raid! Per um, they will prepare for a bit and then attack. They're way over there, that's good. So my people should be out of the way. Everyone head to area one. Please and thank you. Uh, we don't need to turn the guns on instantly. Uh, well, I guess you can't actually haul that stuff. Because you're not allowed out to here. That's okay. Actually, I don't know if you're going to have much to do indoors. Well, everyone that's got uh, mining turned on as a low priority will at least fill their time doing a little bit more mining. That's okay. Someone will come by and flick this. There we go. Guns are turning on. Power. We've got 20,000 units of power stored. we got fire. What the hell? Did someone, like, miss with the Molotov? It's the only thing that seems to make sense. Hey, Harder Scotland using the uh, telescope. And most people are going to stream in. They might smash some of my solar panels, which may start fires and do all kinds of horrible stuff that I don't like. Oh, I should have some guns inside of this room, actually, which I will do. Guns that are always on. In case people do decide to go through there and smash my ship, which is going to be a lot of work. Uh, Melissa Riddle, what were you doing? You were definitely restricted to Area 1. Which clearly does not include standing out there. Maybe you already had some sort of um, some other job queued up, like a wander or something like that, that you you already had before I set the restriction. Maybe I should have recruited and unrecruited you, but it seems a little bit odd. Yeah, these guys are gonna get messed up. Is this just me or does this guy look like the Joker? <laughs> He might bleed out before we get to him, but I hope he doesn't, because it would be awesome to have him. Alright, we are going to need some more prisoner beds, though, real soon. Here, let me do this preemptively. Sorry, Daft. But we do have some extra bedrooms up here, buddy, so you're going to be okay. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and... Uh, 
Do that. Do that. And run some more power through here. Okay. They're still fighting. They are definitely still fighting. Barely. Yeah, they have taken out a, a number of guns here. What's nice about these guys, as opposed to the tribals, is that we at least get some half-decent loot when they finish- No, what are you doing? Seriously. What the hell is going on with Area 1? I mean, there's nothing there. I have no idea why they're trying to do that. Alright, should be fine now. Restrictions. Lift all the restrictions. Fix your sleeping schedule. Rescue the Joker right away. Tracy. Or... Did I say rescue? I mean capture. Let me recruit and unrecruit you. Capture. I I, I said rescue out loud. Um, I don't think rescue would have been an option for me to click on. So I don't think it would have let me do that. And then we need another prisoner bed. Now, most likely some of these are going to die and some of them... Oh, you're already reserved. And that's it, right? Okay, I'm gonna do the sort of preemptive strip just because I don't know, whatever. I know you don't have to. And yet, there it is. Okay, so I don't think we actually need that as a prisoner bed. Ren, okay, Mr. The Joker. You are technically recruitable. Um Prostophile, so you want a bionic and you're a slowpoke. Good at social. Um you have cataracts in both your eyes. Ah, Sight, very poor. I mean, you can haul, presumably? Okay, right, I gotta recruit the Joker. And we'll let him have some herbal meds. Um, you are unrecruitable, so we will just release you. Uh, we'll also strip you first. You are recruitable. Brawler. Frail. Yeah, that's fine. And you're recruitable. It's not easy, but it's doable. Lazy, ascetic, good artist. Frail, bad back. You know what? I'm just going to release you. Alright, Ren. Pull through. I know you got cataracts, but you're the Joker. We have to hire you. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully we've got plenty of bedrooms. I think we probably will. Um, we're going to floor these up so that they're all purdy. Red, green... Blue and cream. Reset and drop down to 16. Some people are in a poor mood, but that only lasted for a tick. Overall, we should be fine. Yeah, lots of blood to clean up. Lots of guns. Oh, we'll have to rebuild all our defenses again. Wow, we haven't lost that many. This structure is certainly a hell of a lot better than before, where, like, we would always lose so much that we wouldn't have time to rebuild between attack waves. Someone's got an infection. At this point, I can do drag like that. That's actually kind of convenient. Um, Naharas. Naharas. Oh, uh, and turn off the power. There we go. So that we can actually fill our tanks again. Although our power is going up, which is good. Ren's got an infection. No! Ren! <gasps> Tell you what, um, just in case we don't have enough herbal meds, you get real meds, Ren. Ren with his cataracts. Maybe we'll give him bionic eyes. We've got at least one. If we've got two, it'd be perfect. My new vision care plan. Thunder has an infection. All right, and then that's our people that are being released after being stripped of, you know, maybe having good gear. All right, 
Well, thank you very much for watching another episode, folks. I, I actually thought we'd be further along on our spaceship at this point, but, um, you know, things have come up to interfere with that a little bit. But overall, things continue to go well. Thanks for watching. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.